Hi, good day. Welcome to Math and English TV. In this video, we will multiply integers. In multiplying integers, we just multiply the numbers and put the sign in the product. The product of two integers with like signs or the same signs is always positive. And the product of integers with unlike or different signs is always negative. Sa pagmultiply ng integers, imumultiply lamang natin yung numbers at lalagyan natin ng sign yung answer. Kapag pareho ang sign ng integers na iminultiply natin, lalagyan natin yung answer ng positive sign. Kapag magkaiba naman ang sign ng integers na iminultiply natin, Negative ang ilalagay nating sign sa answer. Okay, sagutin natin ang mga ito. Una, negative 32 times negative 2. I-multiply lamang natin yung numbers. 32 times 2 equals 64. Then, lalagyan natin ng positive sign dito. Okay, positive yung answer kasi pariho yung sign ng numbers na ating i-multiply. Pariho silang negative, ang answer dapat positive. Okay, so yung answer ay positive 64. Next, positive 15 times positive 3. Okay, multiply natin yung numbers. 15 times 3 equals 45. Okay, 45. Then, ang ilalagay nating sign ay positive. Dahil pariho yung sign ng numbers na ating i-multiply. Ang answer ay positive 45. Positive 3 times positive 31. I-multiply lamang natin yung numbers. 3 times 31 equals 93. Okay, 93. Then, lalagyan natin ito ng positive sign dito. Positive sign kasi pareho yung sign ng ating factors. Or, pwede rin hindi natin lagyan ng sign dito. Kahit hindi na natin ilagay yung positive sign. Kasi, Yung number na walang sign ay understood na positive yan. Kaya kahit 93 lang yung answer natin, walang positive sign, tama pa rin po yan. Dahil yung number na walang sign ay positive number yan. Okay, sunod. Negative 25 times negative 4. I-multiply natin. 25 Times 4 equals 100. Okay. Parihong negative yung sign ng ating i-multiply. Kaya yung product dapat ay positive integer. Lagyan natin ng positive sign o pwede ring hindi natin lagyan ng positive sign. Parihong tama yan. Yung answer ay positive 100 o 100. Ngayon naman, magmultiply tayo ng integers na magkaiba yung signs. Ganun pa rin yung gagawin natin. I-multiply natin yung numbers. 8 times 6 equals 48. Okay. At dahil magkaiba yung signs ng integers na ating i-multiply, ang ilalagay nating signs sa product ay negative sign. Laging negative yung answer kapag magkaiba yung sign ng ating i-multiply. Kaya, yung product ay negative 48. Eto naman, negative 10 times positive 4. Okay, 10 times 4 equals 40. At, lalagyan natin ito ng negative Sign. 
dahil magkaiba yung signs ng numbers na ating i-multiply. Kaya yung product ay negative integer. Ang answer ay negative 40. Sunod, negative 15 times positive 3. Okay, 15 times 3 equals 45. At lalagyan natin ito ng negative sign. Dahil magkaiba yung signs ng factors o ng numbers na ating i-multiply. Ang answer ay negative 45. Last, positive 20 times negative 4. I-multiply natin. 20 times 4 equals 80. At lalagyan natin ng negative sign. Dahil magkaiba yung signs ng numbers na ating i-multiply. Ang answer ay negative 80.